Hell yeah, boys and girls, we are through Confusion Flats right now. Let me tell you something. It is quite the desolate place back here. These roads are rough. Woohoo! Little Baja, luckily we got the trail boss. Because this place is a freaking very treacherous place so it's not as bad as it used to be but I'm gonna tell you right now it's not for the fate of heart so don't be coming back here bringing your cars you might you need a decent pickup or a Jeep because this is truly not for you city slickers you're reading it because we are here I'm back again after that treacherous ride I didn't get the full-fledged uh, video going for you as far as that goes but I'm gonna tell you right now this place is quite rough on your vehicle so if you're gonna come back here make sure that you're prepared to drive slow if you don't have like what I got here I got a trail boss you know I got a pretty much a lifted truck but even if you don't have a lifted truck if you have a Jeep, you know, you'll be fine back here. You just got to take it easy and watch out for the ruts and everything. But if you got a lifted truck or a lifted Jeep, you're good. But, uh, basically, Otter Creek Trails. Got a nice map here telling you where everything is. But I'm going to tell you something about this place, man. Confusion Flats. Like, you can get lost back here if you don't know your way around on the trails or even the roads you can get turned around back here pretty quick they call it confusion flats for simply one reason most of the landscape here is flat and looks exactly the same it's, a lot of it is like pines like this and the landscape it just all looks the same so do not walk off the designated trails or go off the designated roads and some of these roads back here they may be marked they may not be and even the ones that aren't marked you may run into a dead end you may run into a place where you can't get your vehicle any further than what you went and you have to turn around and sometimes turning around down these roads can be pretty hairy so just to forewarn you but let's get on down to a fishing spot and check the place out we shall return all right as we're continuing there's the spring creek trail over there and now we're getting into the sand dune portion of confusion Get get crooking through here. Now this place is this place is just fun to be in because even you got to be respectful though because there's other people that are back here sometimes. But it, like I said before, it's pretty desolate, so you may run across some horseback riders, some folks on ATVs, or people like me just back here cruising around fishing and hunting and whatnot. But just be mindful if you decide to come out here and check it out. All right. Coming at another crossroads here. There's the Fletcher. It's still sandy back there. You can see in my mirror all the dust. But you can look at the landscape around here, you know, it's it's relatively mostly the same <laughs> that's why it's so easy like to get turned around if you walk around the woods out here so when you're hunting back here you got to be careful don't wander too far away or make sure you have yourself a satellite gps or a means of keeping track of where you're at and where your vehicle is and where the main roads are because you do not want to get lost back here yeah well, now the roads are starting to get a little narrower but uh, there's some good there's some good deer hunting back here though. That is definitely, there's another trail right there. Looks like, looks like I'm at an ATV trail, but that's part of the road. There's some real gnarly whoops back here. <coughs> Damn, excuse me. I promise I don't have COVID. Ugh. Every time I drink soda, it's like really thick and my throat kind of feels like it's dried out. I don't know, it's weird. It's like I got a frog in there. All right. Let's 
just overall like it is super quiet back here super peaceful very very secluded <laughs> and there's some parts back here where you literally are off the grid that's one of the really good things about back here all right there's lake right over here that we were traveling to and this is where it starts to get <laughs> pretty gnarly Got to be really careful coming through here. Because this is where one of the nasty whoops are. I'll show you real quick. Whew. I mean, for a truck like mine and most pickups, this is nothing. This is literally nothing. But that hole is a little deeper than what you'd think it would be sometimes. And then you got to watch out for shit like this right here because that could wipe out your fucking tire let me tell you I don't know I just thought that thing with the truck was pretty cool <laughs> uh, don't mind my hair it's all messed up I got head head like a son of a bitch but we have made it we have made it. Let me park this big boy and we'll get right back to the action. Give me one sec. And at long last, like I said, don't mind the hairdo. It's pretty messed up for my hat. But without further ado, this is the place that we were traveling to on that bumpy ass ride. Look at the beautiful place here. Look at this lake. This is miles and miles away from civilization, away from town, whatever you want to call it. Me, that's just, I'm away from people. This is why I love where I live, man, because I got places like this near me. Absolutely gorgeous. And do you hear that? Nothing. Just the way I like it. But right now I'm going to try to catch me some fish, so give me one second to get all tied up here and we'll get going. Not having much luck. I was kind of hoping I'd get something. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. <laughs> There's a baby. What do we got here? Oh, we got a little bass. You know what? Oh, he just released himself. Hey, we're not skunked. So, may have been a little baby, but you don't go home empty handed and you can still say you caught something. Okay. Let's see if we can't uh, try to get ourselves some fishy. water's kind of chilly but it's to me it's like once you get into it you're fine I mean it's not that bad come on man there we go ooh there's a fish right there that's a good one that's a lot better. What do we got, a bass? Yep, we got another little bass. I was hoping it was something else, but. <laughs> but it wouldn't be Bass Kickers Outdoors without a bass, would it, folks? They're beautiful little fish out here. But, like I said, can't complain when you're catching stuff. Not one bit. Huh, well. Wasn't like I said, like the first one, <clears throat> wasn't a giant by any means, but hey, at least we're catching something. I'd rather sit here and catch dinks than not catch nothing at all. Nobody likes to go home skunked. Oh, there's a fish right there. It might be another bass. Yep, another bass. Another little bass. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Gotta tell you, man, they're beautiful little fish. Beautiful, healthy little fish out here. Because this water is cleaner than anything, I'll tell you what. It ain't like the lakes, lakes you normally are seeing. Up here, the water's cleaner than anywhere else in the state. All right, so far we're doing pretty dang good. 
I'm not complaining. It's treating me good so far. Being bounded to a shore, being bounded to shore, I say I'm doing pretty good. Let's try over there. Ooh, there's another boy. There's another. Yeah, buddy. Another dink. Another dinky bass. <laughs> Man. I haven't caught bass this small in a long time, but I'm having the time of my freaking life right now. That's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. Because if you can see my face right now, I'll show you. I'm smiling because I am having the greatest time. Just, It's just fishing, man. I love fishing so much, and it doesn't matter if it's small or a giant. I am still going to have this look on my face. Like I said, never mind the, never mind the dew. Hat head sucks especially with this. Well, folks, unfortunately, I had to cut the video a little short simply because the freaking bugs were unreal. They came out of nowhere. The mosquitoes, the black flies, the horse flies, they were all in sync coming in for a freaking attack run, and they started biting the living hell out of me, and I thought they were going to carry me away. As to be expected, I just wasn't expecting it at this point in time because the temperature dropped and it's a little cooler. But uh, other than that, I had a great time. I caught a lot of decent fish, nothing to really huge or to phone home about, but hey, I'd rather be out there catching something than nothing at all and getting skunked. So I'm sure y'all could agree with me on that account. But uh, the species that I was talking about that I was after throughout the whole video was actually a rainbow trout. My buddy caught one there yesterday. I caught a few brookies, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna try to get one on film. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but that's okay, you know, because that gives me an excuse to come back here and try again. So I'll have that for you on video in the future. Promise. And uh, also, I also met a couple of guys down here that were uh, familiar with the lake a lot more than I was, and they gave me some pretty valuable information. What baits to use, what not to use, when to come, when not to come, and uh, about other spots in the area. So, hey, you know what? Big shout out to y'all. I appreciate that. It was definitely cool, and it's always cool to meet people with information out in the field. I try to do the same thing when I meet y'all out there, if you know who I am. But uh, other than that, guys, that about does it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out the content on my channel, um, especially if you're new. Definitely check it out, because I'm trying to make more videos as time goes along. And uh, I guess that's it. So without further ado, no matter what you're doing, make sure you always keep them lines tight. I'll catch y'all later. Have a goodie.